Joining me now is Congressman Mike Gallagher, member of the House Intel Committee. Congressman, why is it so important that we push TikTok out of the United States once and for all? Well, it's digital fentanyl in the sense that it's highly addictive. Uh, it's also, therefore, deadly for all the reasons you laid out in your uh, monologue. Uh, our, our youth are at risk of increased isolation, suicide, depression, anxiety. Those numbers are through the roof. And finally, uh, like fentanyl, the precursors date back to China, right? Uh, by, TikTok is owned by ByteDance. ByteDance is effectively controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. That means not only can they track your location, collect your keystrokes, but they could also censor your news. And increasingly, people use TikTok as a news source. The final thing that's really disgusting here, Laura, is the fact that they're weaponizing the swamp against us. TikTok is hiring an army of Huge. former members of Congress, senators, Democrats, Republicans, staffers, spending $7 million nearly last year in order to lobby on their behalf, exploiting the loopholes in our lobbying laws, which are very weak right now. So this is a danger to our kids. It's a national security threat. And ultimately, we don't want the Chinese Communist Party to control the most powerful media company in America. Uh, who, who is lobbying for them, who are former congressmen? I'm, I'm not aware of, of who these people are. I believe uh, Senator Trent Lott is lobbying for what? them. Uh, Senator few. Lott, what are you doing? Yeah, there's that... 31 former uh, staffers uh, from uh, members of Congress um, and uh, some former members of the House whose names elude me yeah. uh, at present. But the bottom line is, well, one, I don't think you should be able to lobby for a former member It's ridiculous. At all. How can uh, you lobby for a Chinese lobby company, of a Chinese period? Company. And they, but they shouldn't like be. That. Pompeo was on to this. Trump was on to this yeah. early on. And they knew we should, we should not be doing business with them. But, Congressman, even more alarming is the White House isn't concerned about using the Chinese spyware. In fact, they use it to push their own propaganda. Watch. Y'all, this week I was invited to the White House to celebrate the passing of the Inflation Reduction Act. This is gonna help our kids in the long term avoid the effects of disastrous climate change. It's gonna lower energy costs for families by making it easier and cheaper for us all to access more clean energy in our everyday lives. So Congressman, they're using TikTok influencers at the White House to promote their political message, completely oblivious to all the harms and, and threats that this app and this uh, social media actually does to our country and our kids. This sends precisely the wrong message. You know, when you have high-level members of the White House just trying to get clicks uh, on TikTok, it's absolutely the wrong direction we need to be going in. I'm worried they're going to strike a deal right now. There's a CFIUS review ongoing whereby they may claim that they have some safeguards where data in America can be protected. How can we trust China on anything? They have, their, they have people in, in uh, hundreds of thousands of people in re-education camps tonight. Well, look at what they're doing to the people in, who, who tried to protest the COVID lockdown. Well, that's actually the salient point, right? I mean, look at what they're doing to their own citizens. Imagine what they would do to foreign countries if given the chance, right? If they took Taiwan by force, for example, what they would do to Taipei would make Xinjiang look like Club Med. And they found a way to actually cross our borders without doing it by force, Well, they're right? killing 100,000 of us every year with fentanyl. They're already killing us. They don't have to cross the border. Their it's drugs are crossing the border. And I think what they're really trying to do is launch an ideological war designed to turn Americans against America, designed to propagate this narrative that America is an evil, racist hellscape. Their so-called uh, wolf warrior diplomats are all over American social media companies spreading propaganda they attacking well. the United Congressman, States. Congressman, you nailed it before. They pay well. They pay really well. And you can, you can buy loyalty to China, it turns out. You can buy people off. Congressman, stay on this issue. We're going to stay on it. Thanks so much. Great to see you.